a second question on um, parole. The U.S. has had a humanitarian parole program that you opened for the four countries from Latin America. Um, that program is being challenged in court in Texas. Can you talk about the implications of that case? I know that that type of parole has been a tool that the president has used repeatedly in the last two years, not just for the Southern Hemisphere, but for other humanitarian crises. Yeah, so as, we, as you know, that parole program that we put into place is working. Uh, it's working, uh, the, um, uh, it, it's, it's gone down, those four countries crossing over, uh, coming, coming to the border has gone down by more than 95%. Uh, and so this is a, a, this is a program that the president was able to, to utilize because of the tools that he had in front of him. Remember, Congress is not acting. Republicans refuse to take action. The president put forth a comprehensive immigration reform bill on day one, and they have refused to work with us. So again, the president uh, put this put this program together, and again, it's working. And instead, instead of con Republicans in Congress or Republicans working with us on fixing this issue or dealing with a real issue, the border, uh, they want to repeal a program that is actually doing what it is supposed to be doing. So this is a political stunt by them. This is something that they're not serious about, uh, and uh, it, it is unfortunate. Uh, look, we're going to secure the border. Uh, and do the work uh, that you've heard from uh, from Mayorkas on this, do the work, Secretary Mayorkas on this, do the work to continue to do that. Uh, but we need Congress to act. We need Republicans to seriously come to the table and deal with it. Repealing a program that is working uh, is just doesn't make sense, and it's a political stunt. Uh, 